Today we have Tanmya Bhatnagar joining us. She is an Indian songwriter and singer. Hi. Hi. How has the pandemic been treating you? You know, like we we know that you're creating songs, but apart from that, how how have you been spending your time during during the pandemic? I mean, I spend I'm spending a lot of time at home, <laughs> not going out too much. Yeah, I mean, these new waves keep coming, and you know, you have to just adapt to whatever is happening around you, and. Uh, Yeah, it's a lot of watching movies and cooking and just like trying not to get bored. <laughs> you became famous and that you became popular because of your single uh, "Kya Tum Naraaz Ho." So, how is your journey creating the song? I know, like putting it together. Um, <laughs> I mean, first of all, like I did not do it to get popular at all. <laughs> like it, I mean, uh, of course, <laughs> of course. <not. laughs> the song itself, I think. Um, I mean, I wrote it. because i wanted to express something that i felt and you know of course like if you've heard the song and you've read the, read the lyrics then it's a very personal and emotional song so it was not an easy one to share but um, mm-hmm. in lockdown in 2020 and um i've like just wanted to release my song or release something and i just thought you know maybe this is the right time to release kya tum naraaz ho and I just did it. I didn't think about anything, or I didn't expect anything. Um, so yeah, I think like that was a good decision and a great start. You know, <laughs> of course, of course, of course. I know, like you, you have also been faced by the living legend A R Rahman. So uh, of course, of, of course, it was a good decision. What's your favorite self-composed track? I mean, like there's a lot of stuff that I haven't released yet, but um, but I have to say, like it's it's it has to be Kato Nara. So for me, just because it started, you know, just mm-hmm. pushed me into like you know my career, and mm-hmm. um, it's still that one song that everyone kind of requests. And um, the good thing is that it doesn't hurt anymore to sing that song. It rather like does the complete opposite. It kind of makes me. Feel more liberated and happy, so I have to say that um, maybe like that's the song <laughs> which would be my favorite. <laughs> that the song is you know like extremely personal for you. Is it you know based on your personal experiences and your life? Yeah, I mean of course. I think like all of my music comes from you know um, my own lived experiences, and mm-hmm. that, that song too was something something that I experienced and. Um, I just feel like songwriting and uh, writing music is such a beautiful way to express something that you probably yeah. wouldn't be able to, you know, tell someone in general in a conversation, and that way you also can make emotions into this tangible thing that you can go back to, you know, whenever you want to. So, yeah. As we discussed earlier, that you have been praised uh, by A R Rahman. So, how did you feel it? Like, I really want to know <laughs> how is the experience dealing and processing the entire thing. It happened very uh, all of a sudden. I was, I think, I was in Germany. I was stuck there, you know, during the first lockdown. Mm-hmm. And I woke up in the morning. My phone was just vibrating, constantly ringing, mm-hmm. and I was just like, I never get so many messages. It was very <laughs> strange. And then I. Like opened uh, my phone and I saw all of those comments on YouTube saying that A R Rahman sent me or A R Rahman recommended the song and I was just so shocked to see that. Um, and then I actually went and I checked the Twitter, you know, where he shared it, and obviously it was just, like such a cool day to um, experience. And then I just like shared it with everyone that look, <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> it, was, it was nice. So you also. Have a new song releasing uh, stuff today. So, so, do you have anything to say about that for our viewers or for the ones who, that who don't know what it is about? Well, I mean, the title suggests it's about something, and I think you know, <laughs> <laughs> like we all have dreams, and we all like you know have um, something that we are passionate about. It could be anything. It could be music, dance, art, math, anything. And um, <laughs> I just think like that's such a universal feeling of course like the song also in days same for me and you know it's it's about my experience of just like having the dream to do something that i love and you know in india i would say that like when you choose something as unconventional as 
म्यूजिक और एक्टिंग समथिंग व्हिच इज नॉट यू नो वेरी कन्वेंशनल और कंप्लीटली एक्सेप्टेड इन सोसाइटी देन देयर आर ऑलवेज पीपल हु कैन ऑफ क्वेश्चन इट एंड यू नो दे ऑलवेज थिंक नथिंग इज गोना हैपन लाइक दिस इज जस्ट समथिंग यू शुड डू ऑन द साइड एंड यू नो दैट काइंड ऑफ गिव मी द इंस्पिरेशन टू राइट दिस अबाउट हाउ आई फील अबाउट माय ड्रीम्स एंड या आई थिंक आई थिंक एवरीवन कैन रिलेट टू इट ऑन सम लेवल और द अदर and so that's that's what's up means i'm i'm really getting goosebumps you know while while you were speaking about this i'm definitely going to go and you know give it give this song a listen and i'm going to message you so you know as yeah. you said is this song again uh, based on your personal experiences yeah i mean it's about dreaming it's about <laughs> going for something you know like that you that you love doing in spite of it being mm-hmm. an unconventional dream or you know kind of blocking out those voices that question you or kind of make you feel like it's not something you can pursue or, or do it's like it's very much inspired by how i feel about dreaming <laughs> um so right and like the special thing about the song is that um i'm also dedicating the song to my father because um, oh. um because obviously he's just like any other indian dad you know and um i remember when i wrote this song i had had a conversation with papa and i kind of told him that mm. I'm doing music full time and we kind of had mm. that conversation about you know what, mm. what you're doing with your life and i felt so strongly mm. about music in general that i wanted to convince him and i wanted his blessing you know that you just tell me that i should just do what i want to do and i'll be fine and take care of myself and so like that conversation actually inspired the song and that's why i wanted to also dedicate it to my dad because uh, he's been super supportive <laughs> so how has your entire process and journey been of you know uh, starting from creating music to releasing it how has your journey been it's been nice of course i've like learned a lot about the industry in general like being an mm. artist being an independent artist in india getting signed to a label now like having all of these experiences uh mm. has definitely taught me a lot about you know what it's like to be a musician in the country and um, yeah i don't think it's something that i would stop doing like this is just the beginning so i'm looking forward to this journey in general i would love to uh, and not just me in fact all the audience and our viewers as well would love to hear you uh, sing live so do you want to you know sing a few lines from your latest release sapne i would have to politely <laughs> decline because i don't have a guitar and i would like want oh. to sing with the guitar but um okay that yeah definitely yeah so but like i would still kind of like to tell whoever is on this live that um um a uh, lyric video is coming out at 4:30 um and um, that kind of has like this entire story that i talked about you know about the song being inspired by my dreams and dedicated to my dad and the visuals are you know right there so um i, I hope it's okay that i don't sing <laughs> <laughs> of course i mean of course not. what are your future plans after this you know just highlight a bit about what are your future projects of course like a lot many other songs that i'm working on and um Yeah I think that's pretty much the the plan. I'm also a graphic designer so I'm like working on a lot of projects as well on the side. But um yeah. I think after this song I'll just start working on the next one. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. What went behind making of Raat Adhoor? A lot of emotions I would say. <laughs> uh, again inspired by personal experiences and just like completely it was an emotional that song i dedicated to my mother so um it was all uh, very emotional uh, it's something that i recorded um like in our home studio and also like worked with my producers um uh, you know from a distance we were not together together mm-hmm. in the studio um, mm-hmm. because of covid you know like <laughs> these things couldn't happen but uh, but yeah it was it was actually really nice so uh, that's also one of my uh, favorite songs i i something that i wrote and uh, very special but um, but yeah like that's all i have to say 
Thank you, Tanya, so much for joining us. Bye, Tanya. Bye, viewers. Bye. Have a nice day. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.